Hi and welcome to freenetworkstudy.com. In this lab we'll be doing some inter-area route summarization. OSPF route filtering and summarization commonly take place at border routers. Now as usual when it comes to summarization the first step is not to jump on the router and start configuring it. The very first step would be to take a pen and paper and identify which summary routes you'll be configuring. So let's just jump on router 4 and see which routes are currently being advertised from area 1. Show IP route OSPF. Here we see many routes being advertised from area 1. But since the requirements list is telling us to, to only use two 192.168.y.y summary routes, it's safe to assume that we are not to summarize the loopback interfaces. Let's just focus on those 192.168 subnets. Show IP route OSPF include inter area. So we see that we have 192.168.0.0, 192.168.1.0, and 192.168. .3 These four routes can be summarized into just one. Then we have 192.168.34.0.35.0.32.0 and .43.0. Those four routes may also be summarized into one. In preparation to this configuration, identify which two summary routes would be configured. Looking at the example on freenetworkstudy.com, we see that 192.168.0.0.1.0.2.0 and 3.0 may be summarized into 192.168.0.0.22. Likewise, 192.168.32.33.34 and .35 would be summarized by 192.168.32.0.22. Let's go ahead and configure that. So on router 2, to summarize those routes coming from area 1 into area 0, we would use the inter-area summarization techniques. In other words, we would use the area range command under the OSPF routing process. So we would have to go router, OSPF, router, OSPF1, and area. The routes are coming from area 1, range, and the summary, we said that was 192.168.0.0, and that was a slash 22, 255.255.252.0. .0. And we wish that summary to be advertised. Now let's jump on router 3 and see the effects of this change. On router 3, show IP route OSPF. Actually I should do show IP route OSPF include inter area. So now we see that 192.168.0.0.1.0.2.0 and 3.0 have disappeared and were replaced by the summary. Let's do the same for the next four subnets. Area 1, range 192.168.32.0 slash 22, 252.0, advertise. Back on router 1. Now we see that all routes from area 1 were summarized into two summaries. The main reason for summarization is to improve network stability Conversions delays and resource utilization. Conversions and stability are improved by hiding certain parts of the network and therefore hiding failures in a different part of the network. And this is exactly what summarization does. However, you might remember from the course that the cost of a summary is based on the lowest cost of the routes being summarized. In other words, failures in area 1 might still be seen in area 0 as a cost change in the summary routes that would defeat the point of isolating the two networks. Now to make sure that flapping routes in area 1 wouldn't affect the cost of a summary in area 0, 
we would have to manually choose the cost of the summaries. We do so with the same area range command. So since we have them here, let's just reuse the same lines. So all we have to do here is add the cost keyword at the end of this command. Cost. And manually pick a cost for the summary. So let's just say 100. Let's do the same for the other summary. Cost 100. Now back to router 3. Let's run the same show command. Show IP router SPF. Only include inter area routes. And here we notice that the cost for the summaries has changed. It is now 101. It used to be 3. Now I just used 100, but, but you could use any number. Alright, let's just make sure that we have end to end IP connectivity. Even though we don't receive those specific routes, let's try to ping 192.168.1.1, for example. Okay, and we see that we still have end to end connectivity, even though we have summarized the routes. And that was it. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.